Starting Tuesday, India play Australia in eight matches in 19 days. That's five ODIs with the first on the 12th in Perth. And before going in, here are five sort of big decisions MS Dhoni might have to make in Australia. For starters, not so much a decision as a target, win. No, seriously, win. All that fist pumping and joyous dancing we saw in 2015, it was all in white. In fact, with Dhoni at the helm, the Indian team did not win a single ODI series in 2015. There's also the fact that Australia is the one team tackling Dhoni has the worst win percentage against. But Steve Smith's team is different. With just three bowlers who have faced an Indian batting order before and just one who's got more than 50 ODI wickets, this series may just be a special one for MSD. Back yourself, up bahut ho gaya. Your young brood have all become grown men and you groom them well. Now, thoda khud ja ke run wana le, khud thoda maza kar le. Dhoni's calendar batting average dropped to an 8-year low in 2015, but with most of his big knocks coming when he came out to bat at 4 or 5 instead of his usual 6. With Rena back home in India, will MSD now own the number 4 slot in Australia and get Rahani in at 6? Dhoni's debutants, Manish Pandey, Rishi Dhawan, Gurkirat Man and Barinder Sran. With just one ODI between the four of them, the skipper still has big, big plans for his gen next. Which one to pick though? Pandey, the IPL star who bats like he's always reaching to 100. Or Rishi Dhawan, who's over and over made his mark in the Ranji with the bat and even with the ball. Or Gurkirat, fresh off a Ranji double hundred and countless match-winning spells with his off-spin. Or Sran, who everybody's talking about after that opening practice game. Speaking of Sran, and that's another question MS Tony might have to answer. How much pace in the 11 is too much? The Australians haven't picked a single spin bowler in the squad for the first three ODIs. So what's the formula really that MS Tony goes with? Coming back to MS Tony, and will this be his last series as India's ODI captain or his last ODI series? There is, after all, a World T20 at home in just two months' time. And what's better than going out on a high?